Hey and welcome back on the channel. Today with a ham radio portable special. It's spring, almost summer, so it's portable time. And if you go portable, you need a good antenna. And that's why I measured, let me show that to you. I measured a lot of antennas there others here on the back side too so yeah we have really a lot to look into i measured them on the vna i show you show you the swr graph uh, let me explain a few things about the graph for your orientation and then we jump right into the antennas and before we jump into the graphs let me tell you that there is one antenna that outperforms everything else here on the table. My absolute favorite and I will tell you which one it is. Maybe you see it also in the graphs. Now jump into the graphs. So here you see the SWR graph. I did two markers. Marker 1, you see that here on the right side, here marker 1 is on 433464. You say that's a strange frequency, but hey, you see the range here. It starts from 100 up to 500 and each here is 40 megahertz. So if you say I'm never on 433, I'm more on 438, 439. Then you are more here, let me say, here. Yeah? From here to here are 40 megahertz. Marker 1 is for our 70 centimeter band. Marker 2 is on 144828, yes, also a strain frequency. It's a little bit higher as the RPRS uh, frequency. It is under the relay frequencies, a little bit under the input frequency of the most relays here in Europe, I think also in other countries or other continents. So I thought, yeah, that is a good frequency. Some of you do SSB, so it's more the, the lower 144s interested for you. I thought this is a good frequency. And again, from here to here are 40 megahertz. So take a ruler, whatever, and look for your special frequency. So that's for the graphs. Here is SWR 1 to 1, that would be perfect, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. Normally we say everything above 1 to 3 is unacceptable. On the receiving side, mm, uh, but uh, for transmitting to not hurt your uh, power transistors, normally everything, I say everything above 1 to 3 is unacceptable for me. Okay, we jump into this antenna. It's the Abri telescopic one. Uh, it's this little beauty here. It's a telescopic antenna. Uh, so I thought this would be nice to cover. It is short for transport. And then uh, it's a little bit hard to see. So, okay, and put that back in, back to the graph. You see on 70 centimeter, it performs okay. Yeah, it's here down to, let me say two to two on the receiving frequencies uh, of the relays. But on the TX, we all know we are transceiving lower. Normally it's 7.6 megahertz, uh, the difference between output and input of the relays. So yeah, it is okay, but could be better. And for the two meter, for me, not really acceptable. I tried this antenna, it worked. 
my handheld got really warm that was uh, for me a, a sign that something is not okay and here we see it okay so to the next one i have to switch you back so here we see a much better example a much better uh, this is the anytone the original antenna who comes with this radio it's the anytone 878 uv2 plus <laughs> what <laughs> what a uh, yeah what a model uh, number yeah. and this is the original antenna come with the radio comes with the radio and switching you back to the uh, SWR it is really doing a great job uh, you see here the deep resonance almost one to two in the two meter band and even better on the 70 centimeter uh, it's below one to two so that is for me that is a good antenna so any tone 878 uv2 plus original antenna next original antenna this is from the bao feng uv5r it's almost the same antenna they look the same maybe they are the same the graph is is even better you see here on it's almost one to one here in the two meter band look at that and on the 70 centimeter band one to 1.5 so that's also a really good antenna and this is a radio about 30 35 euros a radio with the antenna we see later antennas they cost 30 bucks the antenna alone <laughs> so the bao feng uv5r antenna is doing a great job so the next one is the diamond hr 901s let me search that i should be better re prepared but with so much antennas i found it this is the hr 901s let me take it out it's a little bit hard because it's super flexible on the upper part that is a, a wiggly antenna here uh, from this for the size it's a little bit hard for me sorry with the wheelchair so a little bit far away uh, this is antenna mid loaded and I let me say it's not the typical antenna I would use but it is on the market the numbers for selling are high it's a multi-band antenna let me read that it's not only 2 meter and 70 centimeters it's also 120 and we later come back to the graph so we can check that 120 150 2 meter 70 centimeter and then plus these frequencies 120 150 300 remember that 300 450 so well, that's a little bit higher as our 70 centimeter 800 and 900 okay i have not covered that in this measurement maybe in later if you want to see them write it down in the comments and i can do them i have the equipment so that's no problem back to the graph so this is the antenna you have seen and 
Yes, on two meter, we see here one, two, two point five, two point seven on the marker. Uh, remember, we started one hundred. You see that also here down below. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. So we started 100, this is 140, 180. And they claim 120, 144, 150. Yeah, that's all inside. And then they claim 300. And that is a frequency I can't see. This is 433. Hmm. Hmm. I see no resonance on 300, but it is not a frequency I'm interested in. I have no idea what it is on 300. If you know that, please write it down in the comments. On our bands, we look on 2 meter and 70 centimeter today. It is doing an okay job. I used it. And it was good, but not my favorite, especially with this flimsy upper part. I was not really happy. It was wiggling all around. But hey, it's on you if you like it. It is not the worst antenna in the test. So the next one, let me switch that for you. The next one is again a diamond. Sorry, I have to zoom this, this manual. It's the SRH805S. Sierra Romeo Hotel 805 Sierra. And you can see this antenna has no resonance, uh, really no no resonance under one to six. <laughs> so that is an antenna I never would use on the two meter band. But a great SWR in the 70 centimeter band. And now I show you the antenna. You saw it, saw it before. I have it on my Anytone. It's this little beauty. It's for me, it's not really an antenna for portable, but for me, it is a great antenna for home usage with my DMR hotspot. I need a small antenna. I'm only a few feet away from the hotspot on 70 centimeter, the hotspot. So, hey. For me, the perfect antenna for home usage on 70 centimeter. Nothing for two meter. Hmm? No resonance at all on the two meter band. So don't use this antenna on the two meter band. If you have such an antenna, for 70 centimeter, it's really fine. It's doing a great job for the size, but please don't use it on two meter. And they claim two meter on that. But you see it on the analyzer, there is no resonance. So let me switch the next chart in. It's this time not a diamond. It's the Nagoya 771. I think this is one of the most sold antennas out there. The numbers are really, really high. And if I show it to you, you say, yes, this antenna I have seen multiple times. Oh, sorry. That's the diamond one and you see this is the diamond one. It's also named the 771. We come to that later. But this is the Nagoya 771. Is it a clone? Hmm. 
If you know that, please write it down in the comments. Come on, antenna, get out. It's, it's a well-known antenna. Nagoya NA771. It's a 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna. It's really flexible. Yeah. I use this antenna often in my backpack. It is also not my favorite, but it is a, a good compromise. Let me say a good compromise. Switch to the chart. We see that the resonances are not perfect. They are there, but they are a little bit high on both bands. Yes, I use this antenna really often. It's not my favorite. It works. It could be better. And remember the graph when we came to the diamond 771. So switching. This is again a Nagoya NA771. I have multiple of them. So I measured not only one antenna, I measured some antennas. I have three times, then I measured all three to check that it is not a one time. If they are bad, it could be one bad. But if you have three and all three look the same, the chance is high that all antennas look like that. And that's here on the NA771. Let me zoom that again. You see it. This one is even a little bit worse as the one before. This is the one before. Uh, you see here on the marker we are on 342 here on the 70 centimeter band and almost 4 on the 2 meter band and switch to the second one and you see it's a little bit worse but the curve looks almost the same so the chances are high that if you have such an antenna it looks like this. The next one is the Nagoya NA773 and you see it is doing an okay job here on the 70 centimeter band but not the best here in the 2 meter band. Let me show you the antenna. It's this little beauty here. And now you say hey, it's such a short antenna, but this is a telescopic two. And yes, it was measured uh, totally out. And it is on 70 centimeter, not the baddest antenna, but not one I would recommend on two meter as you can see here on the SWR graph. So the next one is from Retivis. Retivis, maybe you know them from the handhelds. They made the famous or the popular RT3. I think it's one of the most worn bought uh, bite. Uh, radios for DMR, especially here in Germany, maybe worldwide. And yes, they also build antennas and they look, look really good. Yeah, here we go a little bit higher, it's almost one to two. That's absolutely fine, you see it. And also on 70 centimeter, it's almost one to two SWR. That's absolutely fine. And the antenna looks like this. It is a really simple antenna. It's a little bit thicker as the Nagoya ones. It's really flexible. 
Yeah? So and also the material, everything feels really good. So yeah, this is a, I think it is a good antenna also for backpacking or so if you want to have a good compromise. I say compromise while there is one big super antenna. If we look on the graph again, really excellent job on the Retevis ARHD701. Really good antenna. I like it. The next one is again from Retevis. It is the Radio Hotel Delta 771. And now you say we had the Nagoya 771 and you showed us the Diamond 771. Yes, <laughs> it looks like every manufacturer has a 771. This one is a little bit thicker as the 701 was before. So it looks like Retevis is doing a little bit different, but the style, you see it, the style of the 771 is always the same. This one is a little bit thicker. Not sure you can see it. Let me grab the Nagoya one for comparison. And there you see it. Ah, come on. You see the Nagoya and the Nagoya and the Diamond are almost the same antennas. But the Retevis is much thicker. And then can we say more robust out in the field, but still flexible. Yes, the thinner one is more flexible. But this is really, I think, for a backpack again. And I was using it out in the field. The performance was okay, but not the outperforming antenna. I show you in a second. No? So that was the Retevis Radio Hotel Delta 771. The next one is the Radio Hotel 660 Sierra and this you see it in the graph is an excellent antenna resonance wise really deep you see it it's almost one to one on the two meter band and it is really on the lower 70 centimeter there where you transmit it. not on not the receiving frequencies here on the upper part here on the lower where you normally transmit it is doing a fantastic job and you hear it i'm really really happy with this antenna it is my favorite and I try to show you its size. Let me unpack it. This is the, come on. This is the king for me. This is the king of portable. Yes, you can throw antennas into the woods, but for screwing it onto the radio this is my absolutely favorite and now you say what such a short antenna and your favorite and here is the trick this is a telescopic and can you see it how long it is i try i must drive further to show that to you it is Look at that. Yeah, where's the camera? No, it's not fitting onto the camera. It is half lambda, half wavelength of two meter. It's a radialless half wavelength two meter 
And let me tell you, this antenna outperforms, outperforms everything I have tested, I have seen. It's always impressive. I did so many tests with, I have a friend, we have a little mountain here, I live in a really flat area, but we have one mountain, it's about 40 meters high, that's a mountain for us. And I have a friend on the other side of the river about 30, 35 kilometers away. And if I'm up in the mountain and use one of these antennas, yeah, the, let me say the better ones, I have about S6 there on his S meter. And then I screw on this one, the HR660S, and he knows it instant. It's S99 plus, you're normally moving a little bit portable. He always, we made a little game and I told him, tell me when I have the 660 on the radio and he knows it every time. He nails it 10 out of 10. So much better is this antenna. If you buy one for top performing, yes, it's not super portable because it's stiff. Yeah, you have to take care for the telescope. I never transport my, my radio with the antenna on it. I always mount a flexible one or the really short one. Uh, this little, I call it a dummy load. And then on the mountain, I take this out of my backpack, screw it onto the radio and have fun. It's really, really impressive. I cannot pronounce this, tell this often. What the hell happens with this sticker here? It is a buy this, really. If you search for a good antenna, that's yours. HR, let me read it correct, HR660 Sierra, Radio Hotel 660S. That's your antenna. That is my favorite, but please stay for the others. Let us jump to the next antenna. Oh, look again, this beautiful graph. Also, if you search for antenna with other resonances, it's a really impressive antenna. And again, the performance is abnormal. It's outstanding. So this is again an HR660S. I told you before, I have some antennas multiple times, so I measured all of them. And you see it's not a one-timer. Every HR660S is like this. It's half wavelength, two meter, so it must be resonant. And also on 70 centimeter, really, really great antenna. If you search for the best performer, buy this. So this is the Diamond HR771 this time. I showed you before the Nagoya one and now I show you the Diamond one. Hmm, It's really hard to say are these the same antennas? If you look at them Looks the same, feels the same. Hmm. You can see in detail it's a little bit different here. Can we see that in the camera? You see here this little and this one is not here. So they are a little bit different, but not really much. And 
if we is that the no that's the wrong one yeah as you see they look almost the same and if we look on the graphs you see this is again the diamond hr771 and let me show you the Retevis one. This is the Retevis 771, HRD 771. It is a little bit better here on two meter, not perfect, but better, much better. A little bit high in resonance. But here on 70 centimeter, it is doing a fantastic job. It's the best 771 I have seen. And for comparison, we have the Nagoya 771. The Nagoya 771 almost the same as the Diamond with no good SWR on 2 meter and uh, yeah, also horrible on 70 centimeter. The best one of the 771 is the Retevis for sure. Nagoya 771, Retevis 771, Diamond 771. So this one I need your help. The graph looks, let me say on 70 centimeter, it's not that bad. On 2 meter, yeah, it could be much better. And I said it before, I need your help. I'm sure this is a diamond antenna. I'm, I'm sure. There is nothing on the antenna. Nothing. I'm sure there was. I used this antenna really long for 70 centimeter for use in the garden, etc while it is flexible not as long as the 771 and i had not this little dummy here it was okay for me but there is no no numbers i think it was on the antenna but with the heavy usage over the years it's gone. So if you know which antenna this is, please. Can we see that a little bit better? It's a little bit hot with the sun. Hope you can see it. If you know what antenna this is, please write it down in the comments. Again, the graph of this unknown antenna, not the best on two meter and Okay, on 70 centimeter. There you see <laughs> my, my favorite again with the male connector and you see it half wavelength for 2 meter. And look at that at 70 centimeter. It is a beauty of antenna. It is really long, telescopic. You have to take care about it, but if you do that, you have an amazing antenna. It's not really the last one, but we call it almost the last one. And here I need your help again, because this is an antenna. I again have no idea what it is. It is in a diamond pack. Again, no number on the antenna. I'm not 100% sure that this is really a diamond antenna. I hope you can help identifying this. It looks, it has a unique look. So the chances are high that someone out there knows this antenna. Look at that. It is really a unique design. It is flexible. It is not super long. I have really big hands. Mm. 
I tested it. The performance was okay, but compared to the 660, uh, it's unfair. This is a much smaller antenna. Compared to the 771, the performance on 2 meter was almost the same and it is much shorter. On 70 centimeter, not perfect. The unknown diamond antenna, again, if you know it, please write it. No, I tried it, so now you should see it again. If you know which antenna this is, please write it down in the comments. I hope the, this helps you to decide which antenna you prefer or you should use. For me, again, I normally travel with this. It's the 771. I have this screwed onto the, the radio in my backpack. Yeah, it's on the side and then it's so round on top. It's like this during traveling and then I can turn it on, call CQ a few times. Sometimes stations hear me and I have a great QSO. But if nobody comes back to my call, I take out the 660S radio hotel 660 sierra i screw it on telescope out and then i call again and let me say 80 percent of the times i'm calling stations are coming back to my call and they wonder how far away i am we are here in the flatland of southwest Germany near the River Rhine. As I said before, our highest mountain in my area here is it's called the Letzenberg. Uh, it's about 40, 50 meters over, over the, the river uh, height. And so I really can cover to the south about 40 50 kilometers and to the north up to Mannheim Heidelberg etc is no problem with the 5 or 4 watt from the radio and the 660s also with relays on 2 meter or 70 centimeter i tested it multiple times i used the 771 tried to open the repeater maybe it was really noisy i was able to open the repeater but it was let me say a, a radio 3 and then i put on the 660s and it is q5 radio 5 absolutely perfect everybody is asking me which antenna i'm using and they are always blown away from the performance from the 660S. That's for now. Thanks for watching. DM40S Sandor. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you in the next one.